Hey everyone, today we are going to make green salsa. Um, and I'm using a recipe off the Ninfa's website. I don't know if you all live in Texas, but those of you that do, Ninfa's is a popular Mexican restaurant down here, a cantina. Um, there was a lady that used to own it. I don't remember her name now, but they used to call her Mama Ninfa. The restaurant is so good, but their green sauce is an exception. It's exceptionally good. It is delicious. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by using this recipe. And it does call for green tomatoes and tomatillos. So we don't have any green tomatoes, but we're going to use these tomatillos. We're going to use six tomatillos. And you can get these in most of your grocery stores. And I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the little skin. There's like a little skin that comes um, on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. They smell really good. They smell like tomatoes, but they're tomatillos. It's a little slightly different. Hey everyone, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two avocados. The recipe actually calls for six tomatillos, three green tomatoes, and four large avocados, but we're gonna use two avocados today, six tomatillos, one and a half jalapeno, one is going to be charred, garlic, kosher salt, and I'm going to add a little bit of lime. The recipe does not call for lime, but we're going to add a little bit of lime. And then also the cilantro, which you'll see here in just a short video coming up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this uh, to just shorten our video time. You're going to cut your avocado in half, take the pit out, and I do a crisscross in the avocado and then scoop it out with a spoon. So for this recipe, we're going to modify the recipe and make it mom's. We're going to only use two large avocados, and you want to make sure they're pretty ripe. And as I mentioned previously, we did char the tomatillos and the jalapeno, and then we're going to add a half or about a quarter of another jalapeno raw towards the end of the video. But this is our avocado, and we're getting ready to put that in the food processor with the cilantro and get that ready. And when those tomatillos and jalapeno come out of the oven after they're charred, we're going to add that to the mixture. Four sprigs of cilantro. I kind of have to laugh at that measurement because I have no idea what four sprigs are. Is it four little leaves? Is it four of the cilantro pieces? I've added about a fourth of a cup of cilantro because I believe going by my measurements, that's probably what it needs. And we'll be right back. We're gonna get our garlic ready. There's six tomatillos. They have charred those and the jalapeno. We're getting ready to add three little garlic cloves, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one and a half cup of sour cream. So we will be right added our three garlic cloves, one teaspoon of kosher salt. We're going to add one and a half cup of sour cream, and I'll be right back to show you once we get this mixed up. This, we're gonna add one cup of sour cream first just to see if that's enough, and then we'll come back and add more if that's not enough. But the recipe actually calls for one and a half cup, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. All right, guys, we're gonna pulse this, get everything mixed up. We got one tomato in there that's acting kind of silly. Get down there, tomato and that cilantro. Get on. Cut that a little bit. Get it. Well, we're not going. We'll just pulse it. Oh my goodness, y'all. That looks good already, doesn't it? put one cup of sour cream in. I just tasted it. Oh my God, y'all. It is such a good recipe. I'm actually going to put it on high. I don't like my green sauce too chunky, but we'll go ahead. There we go. recipe that I used did not call for you to char your tomatoes or your tomatillos or the jalapeno but I did that may have added a really yummy taste this there is a lot here 
My husband just said, there's a lot of sauce. I probably should have cut the recipe down in half, but I didn't know. This is my first time making this Nimfa sauce. So we're going to go ahead one more time. And that's on high. I'm going to pulse that. Pulse it again. Make sure everything's mixed up. Look at that, guys. We need a chip. We're going to do a taste test with the spoon. Mmm. That's really good. Really good. I think, in my opinion, it needs some lime. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of lime to it. And then we'll come right back. Okay, we're going to add a little lime juice. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm going to go ahead and add some anyway. And um, I think next time, we were just talking about this. Um, this is really good as it is right now, but I think for us, it's too creamy. So we're going to put, next time, we're going to half the recipe, and we're only going to use like half of a cup of sour cream. So we're gonna go ahead and add half this lime and see if that helps with the taste a little bit. The taste is really good. It just I almost feel like it's not hot enough. I almost want to add some more hot in there. So is it hot enough to you? Not hot enough? I think we're gonna add some fresh jalapeno, so. Jalapeno, another jalapeno, and we're hoping that that gives it a little bit more heat. So we'll go ahead and that. Now we're going to do another taste test, and we're going to see if that helped out the lime and the jalapeno. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Hey y'all, um, thanks so much for tuning in and watching Mom's Cheers Home. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's Nympha's green sauce. We're gonna sit here and eat this stuff. You know, we love, or I love green sauce. Anytime I go to a restaurant, that's my main thing. But we have learned something from this recipe. This recipe does taste very authentic. But I think there's too much sour cream. So whoever concocted this recipe, I think it tastes more like a Casa Ole dip or something. Not quite as runny, if that's a good word to use. Not quite as, the consistency is not quite as thin um, as the Ninfa sauce, in my opinion. But there you go. There you have it, our Ninfa's green sauce. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, hit subscribe. Hit that like button. We love our viewers. Bye.